Peel the avocado, guacamole, guacamole. <sighs> you know, sometimes you make so many plans. When this happens, I'm going to do this. When this happens, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this remark. I'm going to say this. I'm going to beat people up. But then something finally happens and you don't do that thing and you just sit there staring silent not doing anything but let's not talk about that right now i want to divert my mind from that let's talk about something else and oh i'm not at home i'm outside and not with people of course but i'm outside and does the noise of traffic so pretend you're in a busy city walking on a road with me with me a shapeless entity and we're going somewhere and talking i don't know if it's just me probably isn't aren't isn't i don't know but the point is climbing just a bit higher than my actual you know ground level or whatever makes me so happy and i'm not sure why in the wise words of best rest i'm a hoe for an elevated surface so yesterday i climbed a ladder and today too but that doesn't matter i climbed a ladder the kind that has a platform on the top to sit or stand on and it took a few tries in which i climbed up but couldn't stand couldn't move around so climbed down again but finally i went up there and i just sat there and it felt so good you know the golden hour when the sun is about to set but it hasn't set but it's about to set and the light is so golden and i saw all the birds flying home or i don't know wherever and it felt so good now that i think think about it it would be nice to fly but it would be even nicer to be able to be able to float because you know flying takes a lot of what is that energy energy the mitochondria is the power house of the cell yes that energy it takes a lot of energy so it would be nicer if we could float and just flap our arms and just move around you know but not in a way that we would not have any control because i want to have control but i don't want to you know flap my wings all the time and get tired and have to eat a lot of food so yes it would be nice to float but with a little control like swimming actually swimming is like flying if you if you're doing competitive swimming is like flying but if you're just floating and just you know just moving your arm, arms around to go here and there it's flying it's basically flying i haven't experienced flying or floating but technically i have experienced it because i once flew in a dream it was like floating very weird it was very weird but it felt so good and the experience felt real in the moment so you can't say that it wasn't real i have flown i have floated okay so i feel like singing so if you don't want to endure my singing please skip like i don't know i'll tell you i'll put it on the screen later okay pankle ke piche teri beri ke niche har just kidding but then you take Everything in me begins to feel like I belong. Like everybody needs a home, and when I take your hand, like the ones never held a man, I know I cannot heal the hurt, but I will hold you here forever. I love this song. So I was about to sing the whole song but it's definitely out of my range it's out of my league I think I have a very small vocal range I just need some practice Self criticism is really important for all art forms I am saying art I mean yeah it's important for everything but I am an art person so that's what I'm saying I know people hate it when someone posts posts like a full on piece uh, or 
painting or something and just said just a little sketch i don't know what i was doing yes it's oh my god there's a dead moth here oh no it died dead moth is such a weird combination of words because you know what dead you know what death means dead moth and moth just a bit different pronunciation from moth moth means dead death so dead death dead death speaking of dead moths has brought us nicely back to the song so yeah i'm what was i saying yes i need to tell you what the song was maybe you know i don't know the song was Ex- exist for love by aurora her work is amazing i spent the day before yesterday or the day before yesterday before yesterday the day before yesterday before whatever like binge listening all her songs so the cabbage is complete just finishing touches left which i'm going to do later after i clean up my bed i'm going to show you just in a moment how bad it is to do oil pastels on your bed see 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 especially if it's like a mink blanket yes i never thought i would enjoy doing oil pastel because that's what we used in primary school and i hated it with a burning passion but now i love it more than watercolor i never imagined that the moth is alive i was wrong and here we are